before we jump into the implementation, let's take a glimpse of the data set that we are going to use for information extraction. We are going to leverage the consolidated receipt data set, which is available in hanging place. The data set has 1000 images, which are already annotated and available with the ground truth. We are going to use the vision language models to extract the information from these images and compare it against the ground truth. For this task, we are going to focus on three different segments. The first segment is the line items, which talks about the menu, the quantity and their corresponding prices. The second segment is a subtotal where we find the information such as discounts in the taxes. The third segment is a total where we find the overall amount which has been paid and the mode of payment such as cash or credit. This data set contains 28 different fields divided into three segments and our objective is to use the vision language models and populate the respective fields by extracting this key information from the images. Let's go ahead and load the data set using Hugging Face Datasets module. If the Hugging Face Datasets module is not present in your computer, make sure to install it. Pip install datasets. Okay. Once it is installed, from datasets import load dataset. And the dataset is going to be load dataset of. We're going to copy the Hugging Face pod v2 dataset uri paste it here and let's print the dataset totally the dataset contains 1000 images which has been split into 800 images for train 100 for validation and 100 for test as the first experiment we are going to perform zero shot detection for which we are going to leverage only the test dataset let's go ahead and print the dataset of test for each data point we have Two different keys one is the image the next one is the ground truth let's select a random index say the second one we can see the image is already in pal png image format and the ground truth contains the json of strings which contains the information about the menu about the subtotal total and etc and it also contains the bounding box coordinates for each and every word so let's use this image and save it to an image variable. As we know, this image is in PNG uh, image file format. Let me save this image to the disk. Instead of saving this image, we can just type an image and run it in Jupyter Notebook. That's another way of loading this image but um, yeah I have saved it the reason for picking this image is that it contains all the important segments that we need to uh, extract so for example as we see there are two different line items however these two items are related as you as we can see for the first item we have the quantity and second item is more or less connected with the first item and hence we use Two different segments the first one is the menu segment and second one is the sub menu segment and we have the subtotals and we have the total information data sets two of ground truth right okay. here we can see the entire ground truth which is in json format so let's go ahead and import json and we have ground truth variable which is json dot loads of this which will convert this ground truth into a dictionary right now we are interested more into the ground truth part not on the um, bounty box part so let's pick this gt parse variable sorry key okay here we go now ground truth of GT parse gives a dictionary where we have the menu segment which contains jasmine MT as we see in this image and it also contains a sub menu segment which is coconut jelly here and it has the subtotal which is the uh, price here and we can see the last segment which is nothing but the total segment the total amount which has been paid whether uh, how much cash was given how much 
cash was given in return and total menu quantity this is one perfect example where all four segments exist where we have menu sub menu subtotal and the total 